For the Sunkiss Kids Wrestling Program, success comes without question. The RTC, located right in the heart of the valley, has attracted some of the most respected names in all of wrestling. Many of those talented wrestlers come straight from Arizona State, including Brandon Courtney, Colton Schultz, and two-time national champion Zahid Valencia. However, Sunkiss Kids is part of something bigger than just attracting high-level wrestlers. They are among the leaders in advancing the interests of women and their place in the sport of wrestling. For us, it was there was no question women were always welcome. Women were always going to be a part of the program as long as they wanted to be a part of the program and really pushing uh, executives and powers that be to take it seriously and provide the resources that they needed. Those resources that Sunkiss Kids provides are what have helped current ASU students Savannah Cosme, Kennedy Blades, and Karina Blades continue to pursue their passion despite the barrier of women's wrestling not being an NCAA sanctioned sport. Coach is super flexible with our schedule. Um, you know, since it's a college schedule, it's our first year, we have a lot of classes. We're all taking 16 credits um, for our first semester and then balancing that with lifting and practice. So. Um, just the fact that Coach is very lenient and he'll even do privates with us as late as we want or as early as even like 5 a.m. And just be, being able to have that flexibility along with such a high caliber coach just really um, brings everything together. Being in this room, I'm training with some of my idols that I've looked up to my whole life. So just being able to do that is already a major accomplishment for me. And now being able to get to that next step is where I want to be. Following off what Savannah said, we all have like very similar dreams like world champion, Olympic champ, and I feel like the resources, the partners that we have access to at Arizona State is definitely um, what had us, <laughs> what motivated us to come here. It is women like these three that are continuing to elevate the level of competition in women's wrestling, which is only helping the growth of all wrestlers at Sunkiss Kids and beyond. Helping grow all aspects of wrestling is Sunkiss Kids' ultimate mission. It's a different format a little bit for wrestling, combining men and women in different age groups, but I mean that, that's kind of ideally what we're trying to do is just help our sport and whether if we have common goals and common minds, it doesn't matter the age or, or you know if they're or if it's a woman or a man. While Arizona State does not currently have an official women's wrestling team, that has not deterred these strong young women from taking action. The three wrestlers have come together to help start the Lady Devils Women's Wrestling Club, which is something they hope will pave the way for future Sun Devils. We're going to try to, you know, potentially start this club and grow it bigger so that we can start an actual team. And so that's just the first steps. You know, we signed up. We're going to meet with the coach and everything. And hopefully, um, you know, we start promoting on our social media and we you know, just inspired these girls because just growing a team, even if some girls haven't had experiences, they can have opportunities that you know, we wish we had. And you know, if next year a freshman wants to come in here and they want to be on the ASU women's wrestling team, but we weren't able to do that, but we allowed them to do that because we took that first step, it's just one of our biggest accomplishments for sure. Sunkiss kids and their wrestlers are on the forefront of change. It's only a matter of time. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Blake Neiman.